Alright, what's going on guys? Faze Blaziken or Lucas here, and I hope you guys are all having a great day so far. Uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna title this video. It's probably gonna, it's gonna, probably gonna be a really weird title. Now, I don't really tell stories like this too often. I don't know, I've never, I don't think I've ever made a video where I talked about porn before, but this is basically the story of my first experience with porn. And please just trust me when I say that it's a lot less creepy and weird than I just made that sound right there. But I mean, nowadays, porn is pretty much like a normal thing. I'm, I'm pretty sure every guy has watched porn or watches porn. And I even know a lot of girls actually that have admitted to me like personally that they, that they watch porn or that they've watched it before I mean rain has a certificate from pornhub.com that says he has a big dick So so yeah, let's just let's just hop right into the story So the story took place when I was 11 years old and I was sleeping over at my friend Kai's house Shout out to you Kai because I know that you watch my videos every now and then and if you happen to see this video shout out to you My dude, but so like I said I was 11 years old and I was sleeping over at my friend Kai's house and back then when I was 11 years old I knew what sex was by that time. I knew what it was but also at that age I had no idea, you know, what sex felt like. I had no idea that it gives somebody pleasure, that it makes somebody happy. I, I didn't know that. I, 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 for all I knew, it could have been like something bad that felt really terrible. But I knew what it was, okay? You know, if in my head, it was the way that babies were created, and that was pretty much it. But yeah, so back then when I was 11 years old, we didn't have things like Hulu and Netflix, like instant video streaming sites. If you wanted to watch a movie at home, you had to go to a video store where you would buy a literal like video DVD or a cassette, and then you'd put it, you know, into your TV and watch it. Wow, me explaining that right there, like that just made me feel feels so old. I don't know why. But yeah, I mean, that's just how it was. We had video stores. You had to go to the video store, like Blockbuster, for example, and you would buy a video that you would watch. But anyway, so every time I slept over at my friend Kai's house, as like a little, you know, fun thing that we would do to sleepovers is we would watch a movie. So every single time I slept over at his house, we'd go to a movie store and we would rent a movie. And every time we went to go rent a movie, we went to the exact same video store and I had been like five or six times before this situation. And I knew the video store pretty well. Now at this video store, I, by the way, I don't know if it was a Blockbuster. I'm pretty sure it wasn't a Blockbuster. It was just like some random video video store and at the end at the back of the video store there was a curtain separating another room and you could kind of see underneath the curtain you could see that it was a different room but it wasn't a door okay it was just a curtain that you could easily open up and walk through and above the curtain it said adults only that's all it said it said adults only didn't say anything about porn you know didn't say anything about anything it just said adults only and as you might expect you know me being a rambunctious curious cute little 11 year old just to make things clear I was a very cute 11 year old and I'm still cute now but to me being a curious 11 year old I wanted to see, I'd been to the video store a few times and I wanted to see what was behind that curtain because, you know, I'd always kind of wondered, you know, what's behind that curtain? What's so special that it says adults only? Like, why can adults only go in there? So obviously me and Kai didn't go to the video store by ourselves. His mom came with us. She's the one who drove us there and she was with us. And while we were at the video store, me and Kai, we kind of snuck away from her while she was looking at some movies. So we make our way to the back of this video store and we're standing in front of this curtain that says adults only in front of it. And we're kind of, you know, we're a little bit scared of, you know, going in there. We're just a little bit nervous. You know, we might get in trouble for going in there. It says adults only. But like, no, Nobody else was in the video store. His mom wasn't there. Nobody was around. We thought we had we were in the clear and we just kind of walked into the curtain. We walked through the curtain. So I'm the first one of us to walk through this curtain, okay? And I remember this so vividly. Like you don't forget if you're a boy that's 11 years old and you see something like this for the first time, you don't forget it. It's like imprinted in your brain. This whole entire room, which was about I'd say like two or three times the size of my room, was just completely filled with porn. I look to my left and I see a bunch of just dildos, just dicks hanging on the wall, just just a bunch of penises on the wall. <laughs> and on the other side of the store there was a bunch of lingerie and like posters and calendars of like naked women and all this all this crazy shit it was like a legit adult video store it was crazy like being an 11 year old boy seeing that adults only sign that was literally like the last thing that I expected to be up there I don't remember what I thought I was gonna see when I walked through that curtain like maybe I was thinking I would see guns or something that adults would only use but never this much boobs booty penises and just naked people all around now you'd think this would be like the turning point in my you know little 11 year old life where my brain just went from playing on a playground with my friends to boobs. But that actually wasn't the case at all. I guess it was because I was still, like, a little bit too young to even be, like, attracted to women in that way. Like, that was literally the first time that I ever saw, you know, besides maybe in, like, a biology textbook in, like, third grade. That was the first time that I ever, had ever seen, like, a girl completely naked, and there was a lot of them, like, a lot. Like I said, it was a freaking, like, adult movie store. I don't know how many of you guys can relate to, like, how many of you guys have actually ever been in one of those, but tr there's a lot of porn in those stores. But yeah, so me and Kai, we kind of just snooped around in that, that little room for a little bit. We were just looking at all of the different things 
things, you know, all of the different videos, and obviously on all the covers of the videos, all the girls were completely naked. And I honestly don't remember, like, too much of walking around in the story. It was just so much at once, and I was just overwhelmed with, like, what what the hell is going? Like, what is this? Where are, where are all my Toys R Us and my, my cartoons, my, my Nickelodeon shows? Like, where, where's all that stuff? Where's my movies? But after a little bit of walking around, all of a sudden, we get picked up by the back of our shirts by somebody. We literally just get picked up and just, like, walked out of that room. Like, it was one of the managers, not managers, but people who worked there. Big, big, like, chubby, tall dude who just, like, literally just picked us up, walked us back through the curtain, and walked us back to our mom. And he kind of just, like, pushes us toward my friend Kai's mom, and he just tells her that we were snooping around in the adult video section. And he made it sound like it was the worst thing ever, like, we purposely meant to go inside there, even though we had no idea what the fuck we were getting into. And thankfully, my friend Kai's mom, he, she didn't get pissed at all, like, she obviously knew what was up, she obviously knew that we didn't know what we were doing, and that would have probably made it a lot more confusing for me if she got really pissed off and I thought I did something wrong. But the one thing about this story that actually confused me for, like, a little bit was, uh, the ride home from the video store. I don't know what I said, but I just basically, I asked Kai's mom, you know, why there were so many videos with naked women, like, why is that a thing? Why do people even want to buy that? And I guess she tried to explain it to me in the way that she thought was right, and, like, the best way to explain this situation to an 11-year-old. She said, just like the shows that you watch, you know, the cartoons, you know, the stuff that you watch on TV, those kinds of videos make older people, like adults, happy. She compared a porno movie to my cartoons and how they both make people happy, so that was a good message for an 11-year-old. Now, I'm just joking, I mean, she, she really just, it was kind of a weird situation, she did her best to explain it, but it really did kind of confuse me for a little bit. But I was 11, you know, I didn't know what the fuck to think, I was just, like I said, playgrounds and cartoons, yeah. It's actually crazy to think, though, how, like, being an 11-year-old back when I was an 11-year-old is so much different than it is now. Like, I bet there's some 11-year-olds out there watching my video right now who probably even play Call of Duty. Like, I didn't even, I didn't, I barely played any video games when I was 11 years old. Let alone listen to some 19-year-old talking about the first time that he saw anything that had to do with porn. But to that one 11-year-old, or maybe multiple 11-year-olds out there, you the man, or, or girl, if you're a girl. But, but you probably shouldn't be subscribed to me if you're an 11-year-old girl. Like, you can if you want to, and I'm, it's not, it's not a bad thing, but you should probably be subscribed to some other people that make videos that are, like, more fitting for your age group. <laughs> oh my goodness, I make videos for 11-year-old girls. Oh, well, at least now I know what Justin Bieber feels like. But yeah, that wraps up the story for me. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys did, as always, feel free to smash that like button. I actually, this story was a good story, and uh, I do kind of apologize that I've been playing a lot of Call of Duty recently. I've been uploading a lot of COD to my channel recently, and normally I wouldn't really apologize for that. I mean, Call of Duty is a game that I play, but I also know that Call of Duty is getting really, really dry, especially right before Black Ops 3 comes out. Everybody's just waiting for BO3 to come out. So a game like BO2 is not as fun to watch, but I actually, I am working, I actually got a new camera today, and I'm actually going to be uploading a lot more cool videos very soon, and that's all I'm going to say about that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys have a great day. Always remember to stay slothy, and yeah, that's been it. Peace!